Hey guys, Steph here, and I thought that I would give a little bit of commentary on some scandals that are going around lately because they're kind of like rocking the Korean entertainment world. Like, so much has happened in such a short period of time, and you guys have asked me to actually comment on it, so I thought that I would do it and walk around my neighborhood a little bit. So the real scandal that I want to talk about today is the Kim Hyun-jung scandal because oh my goodness that like wrecked me right here right here like I just noticed my voice is really deep because I'm getting a cold <laughs> okay so Kim Hyun-jung for most of you who've been following my videos is one of my favorite Korean actors um, I think he's absolutely adorable he was the leader of SS501 which I liked. I liked him in a lot of his dramas. I thought he was great in um, We Got Married. He was half the Sanju couple, which was my all time favorite We Got Married couple. And I thought he was like the coolest guy ever. And I totally wanted to date him. Like in my mind before I met Richard, because I watched this before I met Richard, I was totally all about Kim Hyun Jung until I read this article and found out about this women beating scandal. Holy cow, my voice is like madly deep. So, anyways, I really like Kim Hyun Jung. This totally rocked me and oh, he, this is such a bad time for him to do this. Like, first off, Terrible thing. Absolutely horrible. Terrible, horrible, horrible thing. So back to the bad timing. This is terrible, terrible, awful timing. First off, you should never do that. Secondly, when you're getting ready to go into the military and you want people to love you and wait for you and miss you for the two years, you don't go and do something that's going to like almost kick you out of the entertainment culture right before. I mean, yeah, they might forget over the two years when you're in the military, but you were just coming off of an inspiring generation. Like, I know the whole, like, you get into your character and some people, and that was a very violent character, but that character also was like, you never touch a woman, you never hit a woman, and he was protecting women. So, like, those two don't correlate for me. And, you know, he went totally against, like, this image that he had created for himself, which was really, like, everybody liked him. Why do you have to go and do that? What does this mean to the future of Korean dramas? Like, honestly, you guys, I don't know. I, I don't think that this is going to hurt Korean dramas in the long run because Kim Hyun Jung is just one actor. And I mean, if anything, it adds a human element to the actors and actresses because frankly, you guys, acting in Korea is not like acting in other countries because it's high stress, high stakes, like crap's being filmed right before it goes out and it's just intense. So maybe, hopefully, fingers crossed, they start slowing things down, making actors and actresses lives just a little bit easier. I can only hope because I don't want them to burn out and like get nasty and like all the frustration go to their head and them acting out in such a manner. I just think that's just whack. Um, as for the future of Kim Hyung Jung, we will see. Time will tell. Um, he was talking about doing another drama before he goes into military service, but I don't think that's going to happen now. I mean, yeah, he's apologized. Good for him. Um, it, he claims it was a one-time incident. That's fine. Everyone makes mistakes from time to time, but that's one time, that's a one-time incident that never needed to happen. I gotta say, I'm totally appreciating the whole, like, community supporting her um, through this and, like, not attacking her for being a woman and, oh, you brought this on yourself, like I've seen in so many other scandals, but, you know, if it would have been, for example, I hate to say it, but if it would have been rape instead of abuse, people would have said, oh, she was asking for it and she wanted it. And that I have an issue with. So I'm really happy that people are supporting her. 
Um, I feel bad for the girl. I hope she, like, you know, teach, she's going to teach him a lesson, obviously. It's never going to happen again. But I hope that she, you know, heals and is okay and she doesn't get a lot of hate from it you guys my thoughts on the Kim Young Joon scandal what are your thoughts on this scandal let me know down in the comments section also if you like this kind of video let me know down in the comments section right down there type it up do you want to see more of these videos me commenting on news and scandal and other Korean entertainment happenings also while you're down there be sure to click the like button give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe you guys that's it bye I don't typically really, really like Eamon Ho dramas, so I was kind of on the fence, do I want to watch this one or not? But, all that being said, this is my favorite Eamon Ho drama to date. To date!